Is the truth to what we're hearing? I'm gonna tell you. The first one is the we discovered that sin is actually attracts curses. It's actually curses, and curses are demonic, like birds. So what we're gonna do here today is uh, the Bible said, if you say you do not sin. You, you're fooling yourself. If you say you're not sin, you're fooling yourself. What we're doing here today is <clears throat> we're recognizing, Lord, I'm a sinner, and by God, please save me. If I have this thing, because every sin is represented by a demon. And Jesus said, deliverance or the bread is for his children, and we are his children. What we're going to do, first of all, is this. While I was discussing, I was talking, Many of you, if not all of you, the Holy Spirit reminded you of something that you wanted to get rid of. Meron pa kasalanan na daladala mo na gusto mong tanggalin, tinatago mo yung tanggal-tanggal. God said today, I will help you. Okay? It's, remember as I said, sometimes we hide the fruit, but the river is getting bigger and bigger. It's going to explode in the mouth. Well, not other people, it's rather than that. Because that tree has become mature, we're going to cut the root today. Amen. The truth will only the tree will only be cut if you give up on it. Pagsinugo mo na Lord, suyang suya na ako. You know, I do enjoy this, but the susuya na ako dito. Putulin mo na to, it's destroying my life. That's how it is cut. Then the fruit will go away. And, and the first thing we're that's the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna repent of this. It's not gonna be a public confession, but it's gonna be a corporate thing. We will stand where we are. We're gonna ask for forgiveness. We're gonna renounce this. Aabilitan sa pagnono, pagnono, tama ka masama ka ginagawa ko pagnono. Patawarin mo ko, tanggalin mo yung puro. Sabi, the Bible said, the axe is at the root of the tree. Pagnono, si bakit mo? That's what. That's the prayer. Si bakit mo sa pagkat ayaw ayaw mo ayaw mo na tapos nito. Palayain mo. Set me free. Cut this tree. I wanna be free. I recognize it's it's of the enemy. I recognize it doesn't please you. So that's what we're going to do. So uh, we're, we're all going to pray together. It's going to be corporate. Now, as I have mentioned, we're getting rid of some evil spirits at the same time. Now, if you feel like you are going to vomit, don't hold back. Go ahead. Somebody cleans the floor now. <laughs> Seriously. 
If you feel like you're vomiting, you feel like coughing, go and cough. If you feel like yawning, go ahead. Do not, oh, I'm trying to be proper, I don't want to yawn. Yawn! You know why? That's one way of the demon coming out. If you feel like... Unless I want to go to the bathroom, that's different. You already did, so don't go. Most of the time, they go out through your mouth or the orifices of your, your face because that's exposed. If you feel like vomiting, you're nauseous, go ahead. If you feel like coughing, go ahead. Don't bother the person. Don't, don't look at the person who next to you who's coughing because he's getting the bread that Jesus promised. Amen? If somebody is coughing, throwing up, that guy is partaking of the bread that Jesus gave. Don't feel better than that person because he's actually being delivered. And, and if you feel nauseous, go ahead. If you feel like coughing, cough. Because the, some manifestation probably will, will be weirdo. I hope, we, uh, you know, some manifestation will be subtle. But regardless, the whole aim is we get delivered. Uh, we have uh, prayer warriors here. We're going to pray for you. But everybody said, I myself was doing this prayer. I'm not saying I don't see it. What we're trying to do here is we're going to corporate you and we want to be cleansed. Okay? So we will all stand up together right here, you know, wherever you are. We're going to pray. Uh, make a space between each other. Because somebody might fall. You know what? Just come forward. I don't want anybody to be with somebody and break away. Stay there. Later, I'm going to ask you to move, move back. You can come forward, you know. You can cross the line. Just don't trip on the line. We're going to pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the word earlier was, there's no word because you're going to see what God wants you to deal with. You're going to see what God wanted you to deal in your life. Uh, this is not the time of, uh, you know, appearing I'm holy. You know, I don't need this. Yes, we do need this. So uh, we're going to pray together. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <coughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I thank, thank you for the bread of deliverance. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, for reminding me of my sin. Not to condemn me, but to cleanse me. To get rid of this. So that I might walk in the blessings of Abraham. You will enjoy my Christianity. Lord, I confess before you, I have this thing in my shoulder that has tied me up. It's controlling me. In Jesus' name, I repent. Now, guys, I want you to do this. I want you to say it to the Lord. I don't, want you to, I don't want you to say it so loud that your neighbor can hear it. The Bible said you have to confess this. So you confessing, you're allowing the spirit world to hear that you are detaching yourself from the sin because you're confessing it. If it's a sin of, of pornography or lust or drug addiction, you will say, Lord, I renounce drug addiction. I renounce the use of drugs. You don't have to shout that. You just whisper it. Make sure a voice comes out of your lips. It's not in your mind. Because the demon has to hear it. That you're taking out this, it's taking out your right. You're taking out this responsibility. You know when you have a guest in your house? That you wish, I wish this guest would go away already. He will not leave. Until you tell him, you know, your welcome is for where you can go. That's how you make them go. So what you're going to do is, you're going to whisper that you can hear it and say, in the name of Jesus, you spirit of smoking or you spirit of pornography, you are a sin, you are a demon. I, I renounce you. I don't like you anymore. I command you to get out of my life. That's when it will go away. If you're thinking, uh, I wish he would go away. He will not go away because he cannot hear that. He wants to be disinvited because he came by invitation. He did not go into your house just like that. He saw you do something, so he came in. This time you have to do something to disinvite him. Okay? Or else you're going to go home again with the same monkey in your back. And you cannot walk in the fullness of, of whatever God has given you. Okay? So there's no shame on this. Because Jesus said, the bread is for his kids. And you are his kids. And he wants you to eat the bread. The bread of deliverance is for the kids. Okay? So, meron pinaalala ang Panginoon sa inyo. Malo, hindi ka lang paalala kasi ginagawa yun eh. There's no shame on this, but it's shameful if you hide it. Remember the Bible said, He who hides his sin shall not prosper. 
he who hides ang siyang nagtatago ng kanyang kasalanan in the ascent. So, he who hides his sins shall not prosper. That's what the Bible said. Today, we're not going to hide it. We're going to say, we're not going to tell it to everybody, but we're going to speak it into the Spirit. You're actually going to verbalize it. You're going to say it, Jesus, you sin of addiction. You sin of cancer. I renounce you at my name. Make sure, don't, please don't try to listen to your neighbor. Okay? The devil might try to attack you, you attack you, but this is you and the Lord and the devil. The devil is standing there and saying, I am here because he watched this. That's why I'm here. I am here because he touched it and he smoked it. I'm not living. But if you say, in Jesus' name, I don't like you anymore, get out. He has nowhere to go but out because the blood already cleansed you. If you don't see that, you won't go. You won't go. But the devil, number one, the devil, I will already sense this. The devil is acting in your emotion. He's saying, this is shameful. This is corny. Can we close the door? This is shameful. This is corny. No, no, it's not. It's your deliverance. So that you can step into the uh, into the promised land of God. Okay? So, in a, the Lord told you already what the sins are that you're going to repent of. He told me already what the sins that I have to repent of. I'm a pastor. I'm telling you. He has told me already the sins I have to repent of. And don't be standing there saying, I have done. Because he has. You know, uh, we're going to do this together. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you that you have called us into holiness, that you have called us into righteousness. Lord, we have grieved you. I have grieved you. I have sinned. I have a pet sin. I always do it. And I regret. I admit. I enjoy it sometimes. But Lord, this is not how you want me to enjoy my life. This sin, you said, is going to come in and take over my life. Today, Lord, it has. It's now a big tree. It's bearing fruit. And it's eating me up. God, cut the tree down. In Jesus' name, I repent of this sin. Go ahead, say it to him. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, we repent of sin of cussing, Lord. We repent of sin of pornography. We repent of sin, Lord God, of anger. We repent of sin, Lord God, of stealing. We repent of sin, Lord Jesus Christ, of hate. We repent of sin, Lord God, in Jesus' name, of, of being proud. We repent of the sin, Lord Jesus Christ, of witchcraft, of drug addiction, of using, of smoking, of drinking, Lord God, in Jesus' name, of unfaithfulness, of fornication, of sexual immorality, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us. Go ahead. It's you and God. Hallelujah. Now let's just invite him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever the name of the sin is, tell him you are no longer invited. I command you to leave. I command you to leave. You have no more right in my life. No more right in my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. So in the name of Jesus, we command the spirit of hate right now to go. Spirit of lust to go in Jesus' name. Spirit of drug addiction in Jesus' name. Go. Spirit of pornography God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Spirit of sexual perversion God. Spirit of witchcraft God. Leave in Jesus' name. Spirit of depression. Leave right now. 